Hello MacWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MacWarrior Online. Today I am playing the Supernova again. I'm playing the Supernova A and this build is made by one of you in my latest stream. So one of you came up with this and you said I should really try this and I did and I am very happy with the build. So let's dive in the Mac Lab and then I talk about that. As you can see I've got four large pulse lasers, that is very much, and I've got four SRM4s for close range brawling. So this here is, is a bit interesting, you've got the large pulse lasers for medium range poking and as soon as it is, it's getting close and intimate you are just firing your missiles and you probably need to silence your large pulse lasers then because they generate a lot of heat. And don't make the mistake to fire them all at the same time because they will generate a lot of ghost heat. So what you usually do is you go for a left-right punch combination. And again, if anything gets close, you use those as your defensive systems. I've got one jump jet only and one targeting computer Mark 1. And this is just a nice little addition here. And of course the jump jets for a bit of mobility to get over obstructions and above hills or on top of hills. <laughs> Anyway, the modules are advanced seismic sensor. I don't have the weapon modules for that, but I would go for the large pulse laser range and cooldown probably. And the last one would be maybe radar deprivation or target info gathering. I uh, got an improved UAV and a cool shot 9x9. The build is extremely hot, 1.05. It doesn't seem that much, but at the same time, you are not firing your SRMs a lot of times. So um, take that into account. The heat management numbers are, they are a bit of the table. And yeah, that is the build. I wish you all a lot of fun with the two games that are coming and now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alright, we are playing Skirmish on the Grim Plexus and we are just sticking to the assaults here. Because we are the kind of damage dealer assault, we want to stick to second line, we want to near the front line though, but not on the front itself. So let's just uh, use that Kodiak and our other assaults oh, as good. our buddies here. Maybe we can share some armor with them and then destroy everybody. The build, it runs a bit hot. Definitely, so you need to take a time to actually make this one work and you just don't want to rush in and uh, try to brawl. Of course you have those SRMs and they are very good for point blank defense, but uh, they have kind of a lot of cooldown and the large pulses are, are very hot, so you really don't want to uh, force a brawl. If you're getting stuck in a brawl, just use the SRMs for your defense, but uh, you just don't want to want to engage on your own. So therefore, we are just going over and doing some NASCAR, I think. Let's see. Let's just see. Probably going around Golf 7. I think the fight will be somewhere around here in that spot. And I can't understand that one. I'm sorry. Uh, I think I would mute him because... Um, I think he's speaking Russian <laughs> or something like that. And his microphone is so bad. I'm sorry for that, but no, I don't want any of that. So I can't, of course, ooh, hit that one because he is out of range. Uh, they nerfed the large pulse lasers a bit a while ago, so the maximum range is not double anymore. And that one can't seem to hit any of his PPC shots, which I'm very happy about. Okay, so Golf 6 is the place to be at the moment. And therefore, I'm going there. Shots from Fox 7. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that was a raven, which is very awkward. Target acquired. Target spotted. You don't see PPC ravens that often. We got a panther and a catapult over there. How is the catapult doing there? I don't think that he should be in such a forward position. So I can support, not at this point of the game. New target acquired. Target okay. spotted. Uh, no, no, no. I'm coming from Echo 7. Yeah, let's try to uh, uh, get high ground on Fox 7 then. I think high ground is very important since the arms are of, of this one are very low slung. You need to get a bit of elevation to make them work. The peaking is not good. You can do that with the, with the SRMs, of course, but push the catapult. Alpha, alpha. Got some PPCs going there. But if you can get a very quick kill on him, that would be huge. Okay, there's shooting from the right, so I'm just going ahead and help up there. Hello. Speaking of a brawl, I think it just started. Good. Get some shots on the catapult. And now it's time to engage, I guess. I popped my, 
my UAV here. Alright. I want to push right side. Anybody with me? Is that a yes? Or no? Okay, I, I think we're going in. Okay, guys, let's be aggressive right side. Good, that was, that was good on the, on the Arctic Cheetah there. They had quite a lot of damage. And something is shooting with machine guns very, very much. And the other sound of my game is completely muted by that. Yeah, I think that's a bug. I'm sorry for that, but we have to deal with it right, mo right away. Yeah, that is awkward. All right, still in it. Getting shots from the PPC dude over there. But as you can see, it's it's working out pretty fine so far. 790 meters. I'm just going to shoot you. Ah, that's a catapult. All right. Yeah, no, so I'm in a brawl and therefore I should play it that way. Problem is that I got a lot of my heat wasted here. I want to kill the Atlas. Ah, uh, there he is. It's a Borset, so Borsets tend to have an XL engine because everybody is going for that stupid <laughs> large pulse laser build. Let's kill the Atlas. And that machine gun sound, it's so nice. Please go forward, Cicada. Don't back up. <laughs> that was a griffin, just running straight. Okay, let's get a side torso. Yeah, he had an XL. Down as well. And there we go. And as you can see, the heat is, is real in this one. It's so damn hot. And I overheated. it. Yeah, did not expect that. But it's fine. I think we're just winning the game. So let's kill that Griffin really quick. Let's see if he comes out here. He is not. So then probably the next one. Or is he dead already? Yeah, I think he is. So the question is, where is the last enemy? There he is. Okay. It's the catapult. <laughs> he's making some pace there. Oh, man. All right. He's trying to get away from our force. But uh, it's fine. You have that ERPPC stuff. Uh, did, did, did he? What was that? Was it a K2? I, I lost track of that. If it was a K2, then he should not have any PPCs anymore because he lost his arms. Or he put his PPC into the torso. Huh. Usually you don't go for that. So let's have a look. Uh, oh, actually, it's a, it's a C1. All right. Yeah, that was awkward. But yeah, as you could see, um, the SRMs are very good for brawling. You can just defend yourself pretty much with, with those and uh, add some large pulse lasers to the damage score so that you that you can amplify that and get yourself out of trouble. Also, the large parts is quite a good amount of pinpoint damage. So it's it's fine. Let's have a look at the end score here. We dealt 881 damage, got one killing blow, nine assists and uh, two components destroyed. Was quite solid and yeah, that was the first game. Let's go over to the next one and I hope that we won't get that sound back again. All right, second game, we are playing Conquest on HPG Manifold. Now, Conquest is a bit awkward because we are in an assault mech and we should not really cap. We can cap the first one, Epsilon, of course, because it's on our way to the center, but uh, capping in Supernovas is just not good. So instead, go for fighting. This is what you can do. And we've got that good old large pulse laser range. And uh, I think HPG is good for that because you will fight around the center and that is about four to 500 meters uh, in range, and we are in optimal range then. So we can abs absolutely peak with that. However, we will probably just peak with one side and then we only fire two large pulses at the same time. Um, but let's see. Just gonna gonna stick to, or adapt to, to the battlefield. What's going on on that. So let's check our uh, other assault buddies. Uh, we've got a dire wolf and uh, another uh, supernova. All right. And then we're just pushing ahead. Our mediums are already... Our heavies are already pushing Theta. There's something going on at Theta. 
So I am just staying outside because I think my team can handle the situation there. Uh, if I would go down below and uh, would help there, then it would take too much time to get out there again. And it's... Oh, it's an Atlas and a Kodiak. Hmm. You need help down there. New target acquired. Do you need help down below? Oh, they're up there. Yeah, I think if all the big boys go underneath, we can take that. New target acquired. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff on top, though. The big boys could be a real brawl. I'm going below. New target acquired. Kill Charlie first. Roger. Make some space to fight, Marauder. Step forward. Target destroyed. Good job. New target acquired. Uh, Cataphrag Kilo. Ooh, it's getting nasty here. New Never mind, I'm going acquired. for the Atlas then. Hopefully, I can. Oh, that's too much for me alone. Oh, and I overheated. Oh, uh, it's, just, it's okay. It's an okay spot here. I can easily chill. Going for override. Heat, vision, and the left flank. Yeah, this is probably a good component here. Yeah, it's not made for brawling, this one. Definitely not. Gonna make sure that he is not shooting my friend there. New target acquired. Heat level critical. Okay, I'm hot now. Still Atlas underneath. New target acquired. Ooh, that's not good. Target destroyed. Can we get them? Um... Target acquired. Good. And the hunchback is next. That warn is so awkward. Can't seem to get him. Oh yeah, now we got him. Okay, then let's get top. Yeah, I took some damage from the override to my arm, but I think it's not a big deal. It was better than shutting down in that spot. And I should really get the habit of doing so. I'm, I'm not a big fan because I instantly... Ah! I instantly um, de uh, get destroyed when I'm overheating. I have such a loose trigger finger. And I need to watch my heat. Okay, let's get him. I'm hot again, but I will fire another volley of SRMs. Ooh, not good. Can we get out of here? Uh, I'm kind of stuck in that spot. Just because there was a guy in front of me and a guy behind me. Good, we got him. And there are still so many enemies alive, and I need to stick to my team right now. All right. Hmm. 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 Difficult. Good. My mech is pretty much done, but there are still some enemies to shoot. Let's uh, group up in Delta Five. That Atlas. I can definitely destroy him. I've got the pinpoint damage to do so. Okay, you're running. I'm just covering you then. Yes, that Atlas. I'm a bit scared of him. Okay, that Jack is pretty much damaged. There comes the Atlas. Ah, crap. Yeah, he was faster than me on the trigger. Uh, but anyway, let's watch the game to the end. Uh, I got a decent damage score here. Uh, I think we got it. We should have it in the bag. Uh, Atlas, the Atlas, center torso. Go for him. Or is he dead already? Uh, How's the Shadow Cat? Uh, still good, still good. And the Cataphract will be dead in a second. Yep. A light just looks like he's heading out towards the axe. Oh, oh, that's not looking good here. Supernova. Two large parts left. Will be destroyed by that Shadow Cat, probably. Huh. Four and three. However, our Arc Cheetah is not doing so well, and that Black Shark. Uh, Cheetah, you just want to go ahead and get some cats. D5 ram. Good, that was nice. But I don't think that the blackjack can uh, kill the shadow cat. Be careful, he's probably doing him uh, you to to his buddies. You could turn around, Delta 5, there's something on the ramp. 
Okay, it's over. Ah, that's a shame. That's a shame, really. I thought that we just had it in the back with that big brawl down below. But anyway, let's have a look at the end screen. And then that's it for today. Come on, there we go. Uh, a thousand damage, got two kills, got four kill most damage, dealt nine components destroyed. This build is very hot, well, but it's there, fun to okay. play. It's really fun to play. So you need to watch your heat management and then you can just destroy everybody. Yeah, that was your daily dose for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel. And if you want to donate a bit of money to support me, then go down below to the description. There is a link to my Patreon page. It would be much appreciated if you would leave some cents or dollars there. And I hope to see you on the battlefield, everybody. Goodbye.